CBS 2's Christine Sloan live in Ortley Beach with the wind. Oh, we can hear it and see it. Hold on to your hat, Christine. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time holding on to my hat. As you can see, the winds are gusting at around 50 miles an hour, it seems. Right behind me, it's swirling around the sand, blowing around debris left behind by Hurricane Sandy. This community was devastated by Hurricane Sandy. Homes barely stand. As you can see, a boardwalk demolished. They're taking precautions all along the Jersey Shore with sand dunes. Huge waves going right through a man-made sand dune in Ortley Beach, a community battered by Hurricane Sandy, where homes barely stand and the population has dwindled. It's in this backdrop that Tom Farragelli and his partner run a business, one that had a scheduled grand opening as Sandy hit. We're 80 percent done. And then the hurricane came in and uh, we got about six foot of water in this building. So they picked up and rebuilt. We got in here a few days later, started tackling it, and Monday was our first day open. That was four months to today. But as the winds pick up and the storm barrels in, they can't worry much. They've made it through the worst. It was the worst thing that could happen to us, but now we came back, we survived, we'll make it again. In Point Pleasant, residents bought these huge rocks and placed them on the beach to protect their homes from possible flooding. In other communities, there are dunes. Sandy wiped out Mary Walls' home. She can't take another storm. A little surreal. Never thought in our wildest dreams water would be coming into the house like it was. And we're situated in the middle of the island. Emergency crews are on standby all along the Jersey Shore. Voluntary evacuations in communities like Brick and Oakley Beach. And as you can see, the wind is blowing around here, swirling around uh, everything behind me, many of the debris that was left behind by Hurricane Sandy. And it is quite, quite cold out here. We are live in Oakley Beach. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. All right, be careful, Christine. Reminiscent of Sandy there with her blowing around like that.